Eager to get in on the action with what is easily one of the hottest segments in the industry right now, Lincoln just debuted this. It's a 2020 Corsair and it's now the smallest SUV in Lincoln's lineup. So the Corsair is an all new car from the ground up. It replaces the MKC in Lincoln's crossover lineup. Uh, this car also shares a platform with the 2020 Ford Escape, though I have to say they did a really good job differentiating the Lincoln from the Ford. If you look at the two side by side, the design language is very different and each car has its own unique character. Size-wise, this is smaller than the Nautilus um, and it's quite a bit smaller than the two three-row options from Lincoln, the Aviator and the Navigator. With the Corsair launching, there are two available powertrains for now. We have a two liter four cylinder engine. It's good for 250 horsepower and 275 pound feet of torque. Then a little power bump comes with a 2.3 liter four cylinder engine. That's good for 280 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. Now Lincoln told us this week that a plug-in hybrid variant is coming, but the details on that powertrain are under wraps for now. And regardless of which engine you pick, you're gonna get an eight speed automatic transmission. Uh, in terms of drive, all wheel drive comes standard with the 2.3 liter engine, and it's an option on the smaller entry level 2.0 liter engine. If we're gonna talk about the Corsair, we have to talk about the interior, because this is where Lincoln really put in the most work to make this car a true competitor in this segment. Standard right here is an eight inch touchscreen system. You get that with every model, regardless of trim. And then in front of me is an optional 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster, and it brings in some additional functions, uh, and it looks really nice as well. But just look at the interior in general. There's really big pieces of leather. There's this really elegant wood trim, although this car has a more aluminum finish. But just like the older siblings in Lincoln's lineup, uh, really nice design cues. Lincoln's not offering the black label package of the Corsair, but don't worry, you can still option up the interior very nicely, especially for a car at this price point. Lincoln also told us that they put in an extra layer of insulation between the engine and the cabins, all to reduce the noise and make it a very quiet driving experience. So because Lincoln is eyeballing a younger demographic with the Corsair, they're implementing some new technology that's never been present on any of their vehicles before. For the first time, they're bringing to market phone as key. They're talking about it with us this week. You can take your key, leave it at home, and use your smartphone in place of that. Uh, you can start the engine, you can unlock, lock the car, open the tailgate, uh, even set the climate controls inside of the car. And don't worry, if your phone dies, they have a backup system in place that enables you to use the touchpad on the exterior of the vehicle to still get in, charge up your phone, and then get going from there. Really cool stuff. Some of the competitors in this class are going unapologetically sporty with their cars. You have Acura who's putting an A-Spec appearance package on the RDX. Lexus is doing an F-Sport version of the NX currently. And Lincoln, totally different route with the Corsair. It's all about relaxation, a quiet driving experience, reducing noise in the cabin. Is that going to work? Well, we'll find out later on this year when the Corsair goes on sale.